Is Ubisoft Plus joining Xbox Game Pass? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know why you've come here for an answer. What the f*** do I know? A tweet on Christmas Day came out that included 10 big Xbox related rumors. And number five on that list is that Ubisoft Plus is coming to Game Pass. Ubisoft Plus, for those that don't know, is Ubisoft's own game subscription service. So every game developed and or published by Ubisoft over the past two decades, all bundled into one monthly cost, which I think is £12.99, which is a bit steep if you ask me, but that's based on personal preference. So it's basically the same as the EA Play deal that happened um, at the end of last year. But it's not until some guy from Windows Central tweeted that they think this rumor has some legs before it started to do the rounds on games media sites, because apparently Jez from Windows Central has some credibility. Now, I haven't been on Windows Central before, but it doesn't look all that official to me. It looks mainly like they're trying to sell you Windows related shit. Let's also keep in mind the tweet labels the service as Uplay despite um, it being rebranded to Ubisoft Plus a couple months before the tweet came out, almost like the guy just pulled whatever was resting neatly underneath his ass um, to kind of get the cogs turning. And I guess you could say it worked because here I am. But let's give Jez the benefit of the doubt just for a little bit, you know, maybe he's got an inside scoop. I haven't done a background check. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. So Jez thinks that it would be a smaller selection of games, um, which if you've seen the Ubisoft Plus library, there's not a lot of action going on apart from the franchises that everyone knows and that are still relevant. I say relevant loosely because I kind of feel like they're just rinse and repeat those like core franchises, your Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Splinter Cell, Watch Dogs and Rainbow Six. They've just really beaten that horse until it's bleeding from every orifice and I wish they'd come up with something new. Again, this is my personal opinion and I can't deny they aren't hugely popular. Ubisoft got its best ever results the last financial quarter because Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Watch Dogs Legion pulled in such crazy numbers, um, which kind of makes me sad because those games are ass. Again, that's just me. <laughs> but in fairness, a Ubisoft acquisition versus an EA acquisition is probably going to bring about a much higher number. If you look through the EA Play library, there isn't that much that is really relevant right now. Basically, EA rely on their sports franchises, your the annual release of FIFA and Madden, and the new Star Wars game. Ubisoft manages to keep all their main franchises and release them pretty much annually. So they had Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs come out last year. Uh, this year, there's rumored a new Rainbow Six Quarantine isn't uh, the best name for a game right now, and a reboot of Prince of Persia. So they're bringing that franchise back. So it is kind of impressive that Ubisoft can have these much bigger games with a lot more scope than EA's sports games, but still release them at such a high clip. The problem is for me, that just means they all play out the same. I mean, if you've played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you'll know that it's exactly the same as the recent games. It's far enough removed from the original Assassin's Creed that they took the fun out of it. Uh, they just bloated it to like obscene levels. But I, I, I can understand that if that joins Game Pass, people are going to be happy about it. And from Microsoft's perspective, I'm sure they see a Ubisoft merger similar to the EA deal as hugely profitable. And this news came on the back of uh, the news that Ubisoft just got the rights to a new Star Wars game that will release when the exclusivity deal with EA ends in 2023. So this is quite far away in the distance. Um, uh, LucasArts games are still going to give EA the time to make their sequel to Star Wars Jedi and I imagine then they'll bow, bow out gracefully so just great work done on all sides there so uh, 11 years well spent from EA and Ubisoft will now take the reins can't say I'm more excited about Ubisoft making a Star Wars game than EA making one to be honest like I don't feel any different if you told me the team behind The Division is going to make a game like The Division with Star Wars skin on it versus 
the team behind Battlefield is going to make a Battlefield game with a Star Wars skin on it. So the games that EA made are not selling if unless there's a Star Wars coat of paint on them. Like, I'm not buying Battlefront unless it's Star Wars themed because it's just Battlefield. Star Wars Jedi is a bit more unique. Um, it's kind of just a Souls game, but I definitely wouldn't do the exploration in that game. Maybe don't stick it out unless it's Star Wars themed because... You know, I'll admit, it, I'm a hypocrite. I bought this game because it's Star Wars, and I wouldn't spend, I wouldn't spend all that time customizing the f***ing lightsaber hilt if it's just a sword. Like I'm not doing that, and I'm not trying to get the ponchos. Well, the ponchos all look shit anyway, so I don't. I, it was a waste of time trying to get the different ponchos. But my point is, I'm not spending as much time in that game if it's not Star Wars themed, and I'm not buying Battlefront at all if it's not Star Wars themed. Anyway, this, is, this isn't a Star Wars conversation. I'm getting sidetracked. If the Ubisoft Game Pass merger does turn out to be true, it means Xbox has managed to navigate the exclusivity change um, while having all Star Wars games on Game Pass. So they're the ultimate winners if they manage to pull this off. Personally, I don't, don't want to look too much into it apart from making this video, which you could class as looking too much into it. But I mean, I don't think it's likely that this happens but if we have to look at microsoft's track record from the past year like it's looking like they want to just splooge all the cash at the start of this console generation first with the zenimax bethesda deal and now with the ea deal or did they were they the other way around i can't remember but you know maybe they just want to keep splooging that's kind of it though um this is a bit of a different kind of video for me um the format of this just lets me get videos out a little quicker because they take very little effort and that's what youtube rewards they they want quantity over quality and that's why you're here <laughs> that's why i'm doing this right now but if you liked one thing about this video maybe give it a like and uh so i know to keep making them i mean i'm gonna keep making them for a little while regardless of what you think but maybe you want to stick around for it if so you can do that um how do i sign this kind of thing off